expecting to win things. It's, it's not really me. It's extraordinary. It's um, uh, something I'm not quite sure I've properly assimilated. It just gives you a very simple, even childlike joy. I thought, well, it's like a fairy tale. <laughs> I mean, the idea of being over winners, well, it's just too stunning, really. I really started with the idea of a person who's just an outsider um, and, and disliked by everybody and why that would be if they are essentially blameless. And I just began looking at who that person might be, um, what could have happened to them, why he might be self-destructive. The book is set in 1949 and it follows Henry and his last year at secondary modern school. And Henry is a bigot but he's got absolutely no idea that he's a bigot. Part of the story is about him actually facing his prejudices. The Broken Word is a narrative poem um, that is set in Kenya during the mid-1950s, uh, during the events of the Mau Mau uprising. It centres on one particular character, Tom, who is a schoolboy, um, who is just returning actually from his final term of um, public school. Well, the book has its tiny seed in so-called real life. It was a great aunt of mine who was sectioned sometime in the 30s or 40s for the terrifying moral reasons. Well, the title is some rather gloomy title, somewhere towards the end, because what happened is I said to my publisher, well, I've written my last book. And he said, I don't see why. I'd like to hear you on the subject of being old. So it's about the experiences of old age. It was um, a very intense writing experience, certainly. Uh, the most intense um, writing experience I've had. So for me, of course, the reader always reauthors the book. And that's, for me, the definition of enjoyable, when, when the book has have, had at least the sufficient capacity to engender a new book in the mind of the reader. It's been an extraordinary year. It, it came out in February, and now there's this. It's been a really extraordinary year. It's not really me expecting to win things. I'm always surprised and happy to be thought of. It's absolutely lovely that um, the Children's Book Awards are put alongside things like adult novels and poetry and biography. Yes, it, they're given the same status. The whole point, I think, if you are trying to, particularly if you're trying to write something to, to sort it out for yourself, there is no point in doing it at all unless you try to do it truthfully. Uh, John McGarton, uh, he said to me once quite sternly in Paris, he said, Sebastian, we must read for joy and we must write for joy. And he looked at me very sternly as if he was particularly trying to tell me something. And uh, maybe I thought it was uh, quite prescriptive, but he's, he's absolutely right. So I think the Costas embody that idea of reading for joy.